my personal experience. <laughs> this day, yours were wonderful. <laughs> 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 what an expectation of you. I better be funny. <laughs> In conclusion, online dating is not for me. Who really wants to pay a database site to provide false advertisements and a whole algorithm of things dictating what is a perfect match for me. So I'm not that girl. I don't like online dating and I don't do it. So let me back the story up and tell you where my adventures began. How did someone like me leap into online dating? Because I swore I would never, ever, ever do that. <laughs> so after I got divorced and settled into my single mom routine, one of my guy friends says, you have to try this online dating stuff. And I was like, no, that's not for me. He goes, no, really. You need to get out there and you need to find yourself some better men. Because my last guy, Sarah <laughs> was a jailbird and a drug addict. So he's like, you are a better man over here. So I'm like, all right, I'll try. So after a lot of discussion, he started to make sense to me. And it sounded logical. And he really sold it to me. So I said, all right. But I was still a little skeptical because he was a guy that had been online dating for six years. And he still hadn't found the one. <laughs> but I thought, and, and he's still now, it's eight years later, and he still hasn't found the one. But at the time, it was six years. So I made a bet with him. I said, well, if you, can, if you can date a girl longer than your two-week period, then I'll consider online dating. So he dragged some girl through four weeks of dates. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry for that. So I signed up. And dating sites, I don't know if any of you have been on there, you know, especially the men that have been married. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of like you need somebody to go investigate. I felt like I needed to hire a private investigator just to go meet my dates before I went out there or, just, or send my dad after because he worked for NSA. <laughs> so, in order to do that, I thought maybe pictures would be the best way because pictures worth a thousand words. I'm not exaggerating with the pictures I'm going to share with you or anything like that. So, here's my first one. So, you might get something in your profile, and you're like, okay. And you see, you're like, all right, well, let me see what the picture looks like. And you look at the picture, and you might get somebody that looks really good looking. Like, <laughs> so then you start communicating, and eventually you, you end up setting up a date of some sort. So, you, you know, you, you get ready to go to the date, you're going to go meet Mr. I'm Too Hot for You. And it does say he's 55, but in that other picture, you're like, he looks kind of good. So then you show up to the, to the date, and he actually looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> so then you get other things where they say stuff in their profile, and you read your profile, and, and you think, serious and career-oriented. And you have this image in your head of many men of, like you guys in here who are dressed in suits, and you're serious career-oriented people, but most of the pictures you see of them are of them holding beer. <laughs> Not a single picture of them being serious or career-oriented. It makes you question what their focus on is in life. Which brings me to this next one. So this guy, some of these are my friends, so it's okay that pictures aren't here. Well, not Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> focused in life. Maybe their profile say, I'm really focused in life. Well, this guy's really focused in life. <laughs> so you really do get stuff like this. People, what, they're, what they say in their profile and what their pictures they post tell a thousand words. These are, these are nice. This guy says that he's loyal and trustworthy. So you figure, oh, maybe there's a picture of him with his dog. No. But instead, you, every picture of him is him with many <laughs> Makes me wonder if that's his sister or his <laughs> This one also. Faithful to loved ones. I don't think these are his loved ones. <laughs> so you get you get people that say stuff like this. So it's it's filled with lies and false advertising. So then I thought that's one part. The other part of this, I took a survey. I like joined my online thing just to do this speech. And I surveyed the last hundred people that looked at my profile. So hundred men looked at my profile. And 
I put on there that my average age range was 33 to 40. So the average person that looked at my profile, I was 100 people, was 43.1. Okay, the oldest person on there that looked at my profile was 77 years old. God bless the old man that, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> These are statistics. And out of that 100, we've come down to 33% of these 100 men are actually married. <laughs> that's why I said there's probably someone here that's married, might be online. <laughs> okay, out of 50, and then out of the 151 of those people are in a relationship already, and they're just setting up for another relationship wow. online. So they're competing. Do you know how many people that leaves me that might not have anything wrong with them? Six. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of those six, 10% of sex offenders claim that they go online to find people. And 25% of rapists actually go online, and that's where they find their victims. So out of those six, I don't know who I would trust. So I don't like online dating because I can't tell. I mean, I am a martial artist. I can probably kick their butt, but I don't want to attempt any of that. So I decided I'm not going to go through with any online dating. My hello. This is my intro. Hello, my name is Robin. I'm a 36-year-old single Korean Caucasian American, and I am a recovering online dater. <laughs>